Good morning, everybody. Grady's in the back drawing pictures. That scared him. I don't think he knew I was going to turn on the camera. No. It is 7.05 in the morning. I am about to drop Grady off. And then we're going to go look at some spaces, some potential spaces for uh, the Chaos Comic Store. Now, this part of the process is probably the most important. If you guys have been following the road to opening a comic book store, you already know that when you're trying to find the right spot and negotiate a lease long term, you have to really, really, you have to be careful. There's so many different factors. I mean, what are you going to have to put into it to remodel? Is it a triple net lease? What are you responsible for? Does the term or the rate escalate over time? You have to uh, fine tune uh, the uh, the the offer, the deal, what you're you're negotiating with. So we've got two or three spaces that we're looking at, and uh, one of them is right by a Walmart. It's in a shadow center right by a Walmart. The other one's on the main main road, but the visibility from the road's not that great. And then I'm not sure on the third one. So we'll take a look at all three or two, whatever it ends up being, and then we'll talk about it. Like I said, this is the most pivotal spot or point in a process of uh, opening a business. Unless you're breaking ground and doing your own building, which we did last time with our um, Titans business, this one doesn't make sense to buy a piece of property in a prime spot and build a building. This one makes more sense to try to negotiate a good three-year lease and uh, go that route. So uh, we're gonna go look and uh, see what we find. This can be a process. It can be a slow, painstaking process, but I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you're enjoying the channel. Make sure you're subscribed and make sure you follow us on Discord. That really is the hub for everything uh, Chaos Comics. It really, really is. I mean, everything goes through our discord server over there so i would love to see you guys over there there's a link in the top of the description and uh, let me drop this kit off and then we'll go look this is a space that we are considering check it out it's about what do you say it's over four thousand square feet 4,800, uh, you've got back behind there where you could do shipping and receiving there's an inventory room it's got some really cool show pieces that we could completely change yeah, we're gonna remodel possibly it. take the drop ceiling it would all be remodeled possibly take the drop ceiling out paint the ceiling black above it but it's got shelf racks all the way around so just what the flooring would come out the carpet would come out we'd put in flooring but this is one of the options we're looking at and uh, right across the road is Walmart. This is the second location we're looking at. There's actually a couple others, but they're probably not gonna work out, so I'm not really gonna waste the, the time showing you guys. Now, uh, pros and cons of this one. The pros are, it's on the main street of Hot Springs. The other one is on the second main street of Hot Springs, which still, I mean, it's pretty good. The other one is a shadow center for Walmart, which is huge. This one is much, much newer. This one, uh, these were built not too long ago. But the problem is, it's at the very end. It's on the end cap, but it's on the end cap on the wrong side. So if you're on the road, you really can't see it. It's hard to see, especially with that awning up there. You can put the Chaos Comic sign. It's still not going to pop. The other one, you can put a big sign, it pops. You can see it from Walmart parking lot. You can see it from the main road. Uh, but once again, this one would this one would have way less to remodel. The other one's a full remodel, as in uh, probably gonna take a couple months, probably two to four months. It's a big, big deal. We'd take out the drop ceiling. We'd take it all the way to the top, paint it. You're talking uh, a lot of custom stuff, reworking walls. It would be a bigger remodel than this one. This one's probably a little cleaner area. Like I said, it's much newer, but it's also uh, visibility is really low. And when you're leasing something for a business, everybody always says location, location, location. It is location, but it's also visibility, visibility, visibility. And this one uh, doesn't quite tick the box. So they're both probably in the same price range. This one's only about 2,500 square feet and the other one's close to 5,000. So we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys posted. This is the second location we're